What sets us apart from a lot of our other haunted houses is the preparation that's involved in our attractions and with our company. We're always ordering, we always need to know what our inventory is. Um, we try to stay up with the Hollywood effects with our makeup and our masks. A lot of our makeup that we order is stuff you see in Hollywood movies. There's gelatin, plus tone, you heat it up in a microwave, it gets really soft. And almost it's like a liquid form. You heat it up in a microwave and you put the stuff in there and you pull it out and it becomes an appliance. Appliance is something that you can glue on an actor's face to change their appearance. We also apply full appliances, which is foam. Foam is a little bit different from latex. It has a little bit more give and it gives a little bit more realistic effect and it breathes a lot easier than latex. Um, here's one of them right here. This is one of the half faces that we use. Like I said, it's a foam appliance. It feels really soft. It breathes really, really well for the actor and it also covers your face very well. We also use these bottles right here, which are from a company called Rip City FX. These are very, very, very good for your actors. You don't even have to be a makeup artist to do it. They're alcohol-based makeup. It comes in a squirt bottle, which is very, very, very handy. I can't even tell you how handy this is. And all you do is you squirt on your arm, and it gives you this whatever effect you need. Zombie, it gives you this greenish, gross look. It helps you cover your base very quickly and easily. Arms, hands, necks. This stuff is really, really good. Hi, I'm John Ives. I'm one of the main CFX makeup artists for Halloween Productions. I think uh, Miranda's character we created today would work well in the upstairs area. We have a, a little graveyard area. We also have a few uh, other scenes that's real, more zombie themed. You can even take her makeup and change her costume up and tweak it to color a little bit. I can make it totally something different. You know, I can make it more mummy fine or something more, more of that nature. <laughs> All of our locations, there's hundreds of actors at each one. So a lot of them get this professionally, professional movie makeup done on them by airbrush prosthetics that we order. And we also do silicones. The silicones is a skin-like material that these actors can put on. And it looks like you spent eight or nine hours in makeup, but you didn't. You just put on this really quick mask and it has all this detail. After all the prep during the off season, all the ordering, all the designing, all the planning, we need to make sure we have a set, concrete, organized plan when these actors come in to get ready before we open. So we have a makeup station, we have a costume station, we have a mask station, we have a prop station. People come in and they check in and out of their weapons so we know who has what, who has what costume and who is in what makeup. There are a lot of people that dedicate their hearts and souls into this. And they are the ones that make us have a good show. That's what makes, makes us a good team. 